Thomas, who I just in a moment spoke about, is the later father of my son, my not yet husband, very young in my life. He came into my life being very politically interested. Now, not anymore. I spoke today to Norman, who is uh, top security uh, in the Obama administration. I told him today, and he knows already about my son's father. He knows my son also in person. I told him that this young man, when he came into my life, he was not at all political, but now he is doing work as a gallerist with the gallery we created together, with artists from China. He went to India. He had an exhibition in the palace in um, Delhi this summer, in the whole month of August. He had his exhibitions there. And he went to Iran. He went to Pakistan. So he represents now artists from countries that are broken up, where political unrest is happening. And that's what I taught him to become a person who is really worldwide because he would have not gone so far in his life without me. So everyone who has ever met me has exploded in their destiny and in their success. Every one of the men in my life, even if it was a gay man like the, son, the father of my son, has a totally different life from what they would have had without meeting me. It's a beautiful feeling to know that I can do so much for people. My, my main drive, my main motivation in life is really to make people feel good and I as a spirit, I'm here on earth to make changes. And since I'm already very advanced and conscious, I love to give. I love to give, to give, to give. If people only would understand, if two people give, and I speak now about the relation between two people, but there can be many and everybody can give. The more we give, the more we get. But we cannot do it for the getting. Then we are selfish. Then we are ridiculous again. We are stuck again in a program. We have to give for the giving, for enjoying feeling in the other, the response and what we can do, it's beautiful.